If you thought Bruce Springsteen had an exclusive on small-town New Jersey roots, think again. Danny DeVito is back in town, and they've given him the key to the city. Tony Harris has the details. Bruce Springsteen may have put Asbury Park, New Jersey on the map, but it is native son, Danny DeVito, who is living proof that there's no place like home. Hometown boy Danny DeVito brought along fellow Jerseyites Christopher Reeve, John Bon Jovi, and Pro Wrestling's Captain Lou Albano to the premiere of his new movie, Throw Mama from the Train. Oh, I keep DeVito stars in and makes his feature film directorial debut in this black comedy co-starring Billy Crystal. But it was primarily a night of nostalgia for the Hollywood star and the chance to renew old ties with childhood chums. It's very, very exciting to be able to bring Throw Mama from the Train here and show not only my family and my friends, but, you know, people who I, you know, I went to their store or when I, I, I bought a, if I bought a baseball or I went and got penny candy in a place. I mean, all these people are going to come. But the eighth grade, he was a superstar. He remembers his old friends, he remembers Asbury Park, and uh, he has never forgotten it. It shows the kind of guy Danny is. Danny never forgot where he came from. I mean, the guy is just, just super individual. Danny's real-life mama was there, along with Ann Ramsey, who plays the irascible mama in the movie. Oh, I'm sorry, my, my mom is not feeling very well. Not feeling well, my foot! How would mama say, get out of here, I'm done? You really want to know? Yeah. <laughs> Tony Harris, Entertainment Tonight. Moviegoers will be able to hop aboard DeVito's train when it rolls into theaters on Friday. Comedian Billy Crystal is Danny DeVito's partner in crime in Throw Mama, but as he told Eric Burns, there were times he wanted to throw Danny from the train. Margaret is dead. I have no alibi, and you're mad because I've upset your stomach. Well, excuse me. In I'll Billy Crystal's new movie, his character's got a big problem. It comes in the little package of Danny DeVito. He lives with his mother, who was causing murder with a house coat. <laughs> Owen! You're rounded! And so Crystal finds himself in a deal to swap murders, literally to throw Danny's mama from the train. Stop the car, please. There's no brakes. What? Watch out for that car. You're a good driver, Larry. Shut up. It's a dark comedy. It's a, it's a rather bizarre, beautifully made movie uh, that's very strange. I mean, the title alone is, is uh, a little weird. Throw Mama from the Train is his fourth feature, and Crystal says he's learned a lot about making movies, especially about working with a co-star, DeVito, who happens to be the director. This is good. It's like the Flintstones car wash. Danny has a little bit more of a, a serious approach uh, to comedy than I do. He sees things a little darker than I do. Um, and uh, it's rather bizarre, but when you see the lights at the end of... Uh, Danny's vision, then you understand how seriously ill the man is. What about the disadvantages? <clears throat> I mean, it's eating lunch with him. <laughs> because? Oh, it's just, there's no manners. It's grabbing, grabbing, yeah. dripping. All you gotta do is jerk around a lot when you talk to her. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Lips. Stop it. Crystal thinks Throw Mama from the Train will be a big Christmas hit. And he Where says is this? this frying pan scene is one reason. You don't have a cousin Patty. You lied to me! The laugh is so long in the movie theater. It's over a minute long that they continue. They, they left right through the next scene and a half, so Danny had to go back and add some space uh, to, so they would hear the, the next scene, which is a very important scene. What a wonderful problem, though, right, when you're making yeah. a comedy. There are four or five laughs in this movie that uh, last that long. I mean, th there are some explosively funny moments in this movie. Would you like to, on Entertainment Tonight at this moment, guarantee them so that if someone walks into the theater... I mean, it just seems such an excessive statement and, and laughs four or five times for less than a minute. Well, now you're going to have people who... going 44 <laughs> seconds. Honey, get the phone. Some, some kind of laugh, huh? He lied, and I trusted him. Uh, there are huge laughs. I guarantee there are huge laughs in this movie. Eric Burns, Entertainment Tonight. One little murder, and I'm Jack the Ripper.